Another delivery. You never do your own dirty work. <laughs> you know it. Ah. Where's this for? I, I'm not gonna tell you. No? No. You might wonder what this all is for. This is going to be the fence around our orchard. Of course, we need to have an orchard here next to our barn. But another reason is that I want to get some of this fencing up. Some strong fencing because we're getting a livestock guard dog. Actually, she's already here. Aren't you, little girl? Oh, what you got there? She's walking away, Marshall. Oh, you're so cute. Eh? What are you chewing on? Some chestnut pole? Hmm? You have no sticky. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Toothpick. Oop. This is a Pyrenees mountain dog. Look at her. She's four months old. Absolutely gorgeous. And the funny thing is, these dogs are so super docile. And then she starts chewing my hand. <laughs> but they basically sleep all day and they're super relaxed. These things are meant to protect sheep, stuff like that, be solitary up in the mountains so they can stay outside during the summer and the winter. And that's exactly what we need when we are barbecuing here at the barn. She's from a very clear pedigree. She's actually a little bit of royalty from our heritage, but we don't care about that here at the barn. We care about the dog. Eva, sit. Go sit. She's really good at listening. What the motion? I got someone coming by, helping me out with the fence, and then, uh, yeah, we might start cooking. What are we going to cook? Oh, you, you're gonna, Marston, you're gonna love it. We're gonna make these awesome drumsticks. It's a real good snack. And then we're going to dip them in some kind of cheese sauce. It's gonna be so tasty. So, Marston. Yes. What are we gonna do? Well, while Rul is walking his new dog, mm -hmm. I don't know why he's even walking the dog. I mean, look around. I'm going to light up the barbecue. Okay. I'm taking everything out and I'm putting some big block of charcoal. Oh man. I think this piece is too big. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just guessing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have five stars. What about there in the old... The hoarder's place? Let's go. Look how cute. Hmm. Three five stars. Gonna light them up. Oh okay, so now uh, rule takes over, I guess. Why? Because I don't know what to say anymore. Oh yeah. Keep the lid open. I like that shirt, Denise. Thanks. Guys, you look so good. So, if you follow us on Instagram, links down below, you can win one of these t-shirts. If they don't win one and they want to buy one, where do they buy it? Links down below in the description box. Click it and it'll take you right there. So we're going to fire up the... I already did it. That's cool. Can you do that more often? We need to start working on a chicken. And the first thing that I want to do is make a barbecue rub. We're going to put in one part sugar, half a part fine salt, a half part paprika powder, a quarter part garlic powder, a quarter part onion powder, one eighth part mustard powder, one eighth part chipotle powder, one eighth part black pepper. So we'll mix this up. Oh, this is going to be a nice barbecue rub. Looks really bland, but it's going to taste amazing. Good old finger taste test. Mind blowing good. So I'm gonna save some for a little later, just a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to this so we can turn this into a marinade. What are you doing, Moshe? What? Film the bowl. This is the top part of the chicken wing and we're going to mix it up with our barbecue rub and our olive oil. Look at this beautiful chicken wing. The rub looked really bland, but when you put oil with it and you put it into a bowl with the chicken, it turns out. How does it look, Denise? Does it look good to you? I almost want to eat it. See? It just looks that good. Did you put it in the grill grates, Morrison? Nope. Do I have to do that myself? Put it in the grill grates? 
course, we want to add some smoke, so I'm putting in a little bit of beech tree. Now we set up our Kamada Joe Classic for a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius, which is around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. We want our chicken wings to smoke and get crispy on the outside at the same time. Look at these beauties going on the grill. Look at that color. Looking all gorgeous. Oh yeah, you look so fine. Morrison, I can hear your heavy breathing. So let's close the lid, make sure that the chickens don't burn. I'm going to let this smoke. So since our um, <coughs> pit master is uh, chilling over there and his chicken is over here, Morrison and I are taking over. Look, it's very professional. We use a spoon. So who's putting in the real work? We. These two. We do. Not that one. Not that one. Time to take the chicken off the grill. Got my tongs, got my bowl. Let's see if Morrison and Denise did a good job. Wow! What? How did you do this? It looks so good. You kind of burned this one. True Pet Master doesn't burn the food, Morrison. Okay, because you never burn something. That's right. You I know it. Yesterday. Yesterday? I never burn anything, Denise. I caramelize things. Something to the, bur to the point of uh, where it's unrecognizable. We're gonna make a cheese sauce. So we'll put a pan on the fire, straight on the heat. Next thing we're going to need 25 grams of butter. Morrison, make the butter melt faster. So that's why I'm the pit master. Put the pan to the side, take the grill grate out, lower it to the lowest position, put the pan on the low position. Boy, I got skills. We'll add some flour, cook the butter and the flour. Wait for it, it needs to bake a little bit first. We want it to brown up a little bit and add 300 milliliters of milk to this. And we'll keep on adding our milk until we have a smooth consistency. Now technically, we went from a roux to a bechamel sauce. And from the bechamel sauce, we're gonna go to the cheese sauce. Denise, where's the cheese? Oh, Denise cheese, that rhymes. Denise cheese. Since we're pit master eggs, we're gonna add more cheese than required. We're gonna add double the amount. Instead of the normal 150 grams, we're adding 300 grams. And if it's needed, we're gonna add more milk to make sure that we get a good cheese sauce. Wow, look at this cheese sauce. Now that's what I call a cheese sauce. We're gonna use this to put our chicken in. Got these beautiful fresh jalapenos, nice and crispy. We're gonna de-seed them, we're going to chop them fine. We're gonna put the fresh chopped jalapenos into our cheese sauce. There we go. I'm also gonna add some fresh ground black pepper. Now we're gonna mix that up and make sure the flavors blend together. Nice and spicy cheese sauce. Now we're gonna take this cheese sauce and put them in our just seasoned pan. Now one by one, I'm gonna put them in, top side down. I think we can manage to put one more in. If you guess we're done, you're wrong. We're gonna add more cheese. In this case, we're gonna add young shredded Gouda cheese. Basically, you wanna spread that in between the chicken drumsticks, the chicken wings. And now to finish it off, the rub that we saved. See, the chickens know it. Ready to go on the grill. We're baking this at a temperature of around 200 degrees Celsius, which is a little over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And while our Kamado Joe Classing is doing all the work, we can eat our chicken. The ones you burned. Yay! <laughs> They're gonna be I've, great. I've never seen somebody so happy with the burnt chicken. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. Oh my God, they're really good. Jesus, I think it's done. Cheese. Jesus. Look at that. Oh, a pan full of heaven. <laughs> if that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what does. That's joy on a stick. Mm, wow. That is some tasty chicken. I'm sorry, little doggy. You can't have this. Morrison, if you think you had some tasty chicken, Guess again. Eat one more? No. You need me to eat one more for the video? No. Are you sure? 
You got all the footage you need? Okay, go on. Okay, thank you very much. I definitely recommend trying this. How about the fence guy? Is he still coming? Guess not. I think I might have to do it on my own. Come on, try one, Marcia. You did it. Again. No, fifth bump. Fifth bump? Put this on the table in the restaurant. It would be full seven days a week. No. Are you sad? They don't give you anything. I know. I feel the same. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I hope you guys like my new barbecue girlfriend. She's gonna be with us on the show and she's gonna be my smoking companion, guarding the grills and, and taking care of me while I'm out here with Denise and Morrison. Once in a while, maybe she get a bone. Please, God, don't, don't kill me. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Other than, keep on grilling. Oh yeah, thank you patrons and YouTube members. Oh god. Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> Stop. Ah. <laughs>